Hi, hey, welcome to the Killian Family Homestead. Happy Saturday. Hey, today what we're going to be doing is um, doing a, a pollen patty for our two hives. We had four. Uh, we lost one due to extreme robbing at the very end when we were harvesting honey. And then the third one, just the mites overtook them. And uh, despite our apigard and, and our best efforts, we lost the, the third as well. So we have two left and we're going to be doing pollen patties. It's the middle of February right now. I want to make sure we have enough food for the hive so that they can uh, survive the critical period of the spring before uh, you know, any of the nectar flow and before there's any pollen to be gathered. So um, we're going to be doing that. I'm going to show you how we do it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a first, um, we're going to do a one-to-one -one sugar mixture. Cane sugar, white sugar is the only thing you should use. We're going to put, this is one cup, we're going to put one cup, more or less. I know that's falling out a little bit, we'll compensate. Okay, so one cup, two cups. It's falling out, compensate. <laughs> okay, there's two cups of sugar. Now... Two cups of warm water. Okay, a little extra. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna come over here. Mix it all up. Okay. And I'll just go ahead and mix it up. Okay, so what I'm doing with the one-to-one -one sugar solution is I'm going to be using this as the additive to my pollen substitute. The pollen substitute that I have is B-Pro, and what we're going to do is just put enough dry powder bee pollen um, substitute into a bowl and uh, add sugar water as much as we need to to get it the right consistency. Let me show you that now. Okay, so I'm just going to show you what the bee pollen substitute or bee pro looks like. Again, here is the bee pro. I think I got this from Man Lake. So zoom in. As you can see here, it's just a flowery powder looking substance. And what I'm going to do is, there's no science behind this, just however much, however big the pollen patties you, pow patties you want to create is how much you put in here. Anyways, that right there, I'm going to do one more, one more, so four, what is this, a half a cup, so two cups total is what I put in there, okay, now I've got my sugar solution, and I'm going to put this on the lowest setting, and simply... adding the sugar water. Get a zoom in right there inside there. So you want to make sure that it's not too wet. You want it to be somewhat of a cookie dough type of consistency. Okay, here we go. You can see how it is somewhat of a cookie dough consistency. I'm just going to let it mix around for a little bit. I'll scrape the sides. Maybe add just a little bit more. What we're going to do is we're going to let this sit out overnight. And it's going to dehydrate overnight a little bit. But we just want to make sure it's the right consistency for that. Let me show you what we, where we put it on the wax paper now. So a normal wax paper right here, and what you're going to do is you're going to put it in there, lay it, push it flat like a pancake, fold this over to push it flat like that, and uh, then you can kind of trim the edges, make it nice and clean, and, and put that right on top of the hive. Okay, so I'm going to have this sit out overnight, and uh, it just kind of prepares it, I guess. It uh, ensures that it's completely set up, and then we're going to put it on the wax paper. 
You can see that it looks uh, somewhat cookie doughish, and putting the sugar water in there, so it smells kind of sweet, so it reminds me of cookie dough. And so, anyways, then we're gonna put on the wax paper and move on. Okay, so now what we do is we take a scoop or so of this and you place it on the wax paper. And using the other side of the wax paper, you're gonna smush it. And you just smush it down to about that or so, right there. And I'm going to trim off the edges so the bees can access it without it drying out. The purpose of this wax paper is to help it last longer in the hive. So, like I said before, dried out, crusted over pollen patties are worthless. Okay, so I have four pollen patties made up just like this. I'm going to puncture some holes once I get out to the hive. Puncture some holes maybe on top here just to get them incentivized. Make sure there's open access to this so they understand where to access it. Which I probably could cut some of that a little closer. But um, you just put this on the very top of the hive, on top of the bars. And uh, not outside of the hive or anything like that because they're, they're not flying um, in the middle of February as much as it would need, be needed to access it on top of the hive. So this is gonna go inside the hive on top of the bars. Okay guys, sorry for the wind. So I already checked this hive. This is the bigger of the hive. The bees are in the top part of the second box and they have lots of honey stores still in the super. So this hive is gonna do just fine, but just to be, just to be sure, I put the pollen patties. It's not gonna hurt up top. This is the one, oh, there goes my smoker. The wind, as you can tell, because the noise quality is... Okay, so when it's windy, especially when it's cold, these bees are grumpy. They do not want you messing with their hive, but I have to. So this one was a package that we started last year. It did pretty well, even though it brought the mites into my apiary here, which I'm not happy with. And I let the breeder know. But uh, anyways, so um, I'm going to open this up with you here. I'm going to take a look and see. Lots of bees on top, that's great. We're gonna smoke them, put the pollen patties because they're searching for food for sure. Drive them all down. It's taking a little longer than I like. This is going to benefit them tremendously in the long run.
make a few inserts to get them excited about it. And lay it flat and go. Whoa. moves right there to incubate and those bees try to migrate to get food they end up dying out here because it gets so cold so you want to have two pollen patties kind of covering all the hive here so that they can you know um, 